What's up, you guys? It's your girl Jupiter here with the soulmate after dark. <laughs> you guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys, also, there's very explicit images on these cards, so this video is 18 and older. So please, little babies. Y'all can go click on another video, but you cannot click on the after dogs, okay? So yes, you guys remember that the energy is very interchangeable. So please take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all. Use for entertainment purposes, live your life. Oh, shoot. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna get straight into this. <laughs> we're gonna get straight into it. And we're gonna see what's going on. Okay. You guys, thank you for the support, the love. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Hmm. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. <clears throat> mm. So, I mean, I I want to. <laughs> the energy on difficult. You're the king of air someone who's feeling ah oh, I'm feeling impatient this motherfucker feeling impatient this motherfucker a little a little high strung a little on the edge a little irritated agitated by something um kind of wanting to get straight to the point about something something that is bothering them I don't know what um because <laughs> i'm like hold up now don't come in here with all this hardcore ass i'm sad and angry uh energy and we here for the after dark midnight special okay <laughs> you come in with, with this hardcore ass energy like i want to talk like let's fuck instead damn <laughs> shit and we here for the other shit we ain't here for all of that so I'm going to go ahead and take that by saying that y'all might be having, y'all might be more in y'all's masculine energy right now. But the chariot, so with the chariot, <laughs> I'm like, but anyways, but with the chariot, we know what it is. If you can see her down there, it's like, this camera life is turning her on. <laughs> this camera shit. Somebody could be doing some things in front of the camera. But um I feel like this person is they they want to they've been very arrogant in the past. They've been very they wasn't they didn't give you their true self. They didn't give you their real love. And I know that like that sounds that pit I know that pisses motherfuckers off. Like, but y'all know what it is. Y'all know this person didn't give you their full self. And you know you ain't just fall in love out of nowhere by your fucking self and shit. Although it probably really feels like that. But you know there it was mutual. This person was giving you a, a you know enough love for you to see their the capabilities was was present but then would retract and withdraw and pull in all the rest of that shit and some stingy shit <laughs> so with the eight feeling like they were responsible for the shit that they in 
Like this 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 whole chick, she you see the little arrow right there. Like she like, I'm gonna go out here and take a bath. <laughs> And her, the people she traveling with probably looking like, bitch, it's dangerous. Why would you do that? We being hunted. The fuck? And she like, no, I'm just going to go and wash my bum really fast and I'll be back. And and then an arrow come and she all scared and, and like, oh my gosh, like I need, I need saving now. I need somebody to come save me. But it's like, your ass shouldn't have went the fuck out there. You knew what the, well, you knew what the, the possibilities were. You knew that you risked getting your ass getting an arrow in that ass so that's that's how it is with them it's like you knew you was playing with fire and it was a possibility that you was gonna end up with a third degree burn you knew that that shit was gonna hurt you was gonna lose some skin you knew like you seen it everything you knew you knew how long the pain would let would, would last but then and, you know it's nothing like actually having a burn if y'all have had an actual burn that motherfucker's annoying and it hurts <laughs> so it's like this is how they are now like you know it's like damn you know i you know you got a burn but you keep looking at it every 10 seconds like damn this burn hurts <laughs> this motherfucker hurts though <laughs> So it's like that's what they're doing from their actions. Like, damn, it actually hurts that I'm not, that, that she ain't talking to me no more. But it's like you knew that. That's why you didn't want to get as close as you knew you could get with this person because you knew they would have the ability to pull on that ass, on them emotions, and have your ass sick for real. You knew these things. And that's why you backed away. That's why you backed off. That's why you played these hot and cold games. Like, that's why you did these things to try to protect yourself. But you didn't realize you were going to have those side effects regardless. Because this person is hurt. So they're attached to your hurt. You are everything to them. They look at you as being the fucking priest. In this card, it's like they 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 want to like this man. This man is down here. This girl is up here. Busting eagle. She busting it down on the steps real quick. You got old boy to the back. Oh, little baby's 18 years old. Please. Got that pussy out. <laughs> Hold up. But yes, um, he's looking at her like he's like, not only is, is pretty hot and tempting. <laughs> not only is that, you fat girl, P-H-A-T, <laughs> pretty hot and tempting. But you... <sighs> To him, you balance out life. Oh, and I got shut it down by Drake playing. Go get him, girl. Go get him. You the shit. Shut it down. So he looks at you that way. Like, it's like, uh, what's that shit? Helen of Troy. The face that, 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 sh that uh shipped a thousand ships or the the sailed a thousand ships shipped a thousand ships <laughs> oh gosh don't look <laughs> it's been a long day okay but yes the the face that sailed a thousand ships you like helena troy in this bitch like they're just so tempted by you this person feels like they are amazed by you they desire you they want to be with you with this full card look how oh shit you guys oops okay look how smeagol from lord of the rings is down there looking at the pretty fairy princess <laughs> He's like a Pinocchio Goblin King or something. I don't know. He's some weird ass shit. He's like a boy. He's not a real boy. I guess it's Pinocchio, but he just look odd. Or actually, it looks like a doll. Maybe it's a doll. I don't know. This shit weird. Y'all get in them comments and tell me what the fuck. This is. 
tell me what this full card look like but that's like only a mother's love you know what i'm saying like that's like <laughs> this card is deep to me but it's like the shit funny as hell but she's definitely looking at him like like a creation of hers i created you only only a mother's only a mother can look at at their at their child like that like <laughs> Knowing this this little this little fake little wooden boy girl whatever it is look ugly as hell. She turns she looking down looking like oh but I created you I love you so much you're beautiful I could just stare at you forever because <laughs> it's all, only a mother's love. <laughs> but I feel like that's how he looks at you and how you look at him. If y'all can, if y'all feel me, feel me. <laughs> if y'all feel me, feel me. Because I feel like I'm going to have a difficult time explaining this right about now. Because my words is all fucked up. Got the, the retrograde happening too, y'all. Shit. But, um. It amazes him how you feel about him. It amazes him how you look at him. How you care for him. How he's able to let his guards go around you. All that shit is amazing to this person. This person could have a really unsteady lifestyle. Where he can't trust motherfuckers as far as he can fucking see them. Or throw them as they say. And how far can you really throw a 200 pound nigga? Come on. So my point being, I can't trust you if I cannot see you, my nigga. And I need to be, and I need glasses, bruh. So I need to be able to see you without my glasses. That type of shit. I need to be right up on you. So to be able to be able to trust you, that's like, that means everything to him. Last night by Keisha Cole trying to call you didn't get an answer um last night <laughs> y'all probably can hear the words better than i can i'm trying to tighten down like <laughs> trying to tighten down on the music a little bit a little bit i've seen people a few people expressing to me about the, the the music and all of that which i do know youtube I have read a few things and did my little studies, but I'm not, you know, this this new tube, this YouTube shit is new for me. So definitely trying to respect the rules and everything. And, you know, you know, I'm figuring it out, though, because I got to be me. Jupiter got to be me. OK, so you guys. Punishment card. This reminds me of this song. I tried to call, but I my my pride wouldn't let me dial. They, I feel like there's this punishment coming from their own pride. How the fuck you gonna feel like you being punished, but yet you are completely aware that you are the one that's holding you back from being able to really have what it is that you want. ultimately at the end of the day you guys this person looks at it as being your decision so when you thought that they had to make this decision to pick you or whatever weird ass shit that motherfucker knew the whole time that like okay maybe not the whole time because a lot of you had to wake these people up by leaving them alone but once that happened once that disappearing act happened happened this person was forced to to look at how much it was actually your decision the whole time. And damn, why didn't I just why wasn't I acting like I had some sense when when it when she wanted me? When this person wanted me and was giving me their time and their affection and treating me like like fucking treat me like Smeagol on crack. <laughs> like my precious fucking overload, okay? Like, you, my precious, I will never let you go. Like, they should have been feeling like that, but they didn't. So they're, they're being punished from the sacrifices that they made. 
They're being, they, they feel that pain, y'all. Y'all gotta know it, too. Like, y'all, y'all gotta fucking know it. They feel that pain. Like, ain't a whole lot of the whole, I mean, ain't a whole lot of, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm like, this is supposed to be the soulmate after dark, but instead, I have to get all your feelings. I have to hear about all your feelings, how you feel inside. But you didn't care when any of these beautiful empresses felt bad. You didn't care when they were hurt, bored out of their fucking mind. You didn't care. Now you want someone to care about your feelings. I just don't know what to say about that. <laughs> So we came here for we came here for some rated or okay rated or rated X. <laughs> we came here for that parental advisory. Come on, get out your feelings. But anyways, <clears throat> you guys, let me know if this resonates. Um, you know what? I. I am going to, where is my other deck? I'm going to pull a few more cards <clears throat> from my Manette card deck. <sighs> I just have to see, what is the sexual energy for the soulmates after dark? Really quick, you guys. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. So you guys bear with me for ten seconds. Bear. Bear with me. See what's going down. We ain't too many. We ain't too far up in here. We can't get some, get some action now. Let's get a little action. Ew, wanting to take risk, dreaming about you. Ooh, no big deal, uh, you guys. And the Queen of Diamonds. Hmm. Hmm. So, there we have it. And that is what we have. Oh, shit. This shit's all over the place. So, <clears throat> let's just pull the Joker, you guys. The Joker, this person ugh, took a risk towards, I think, just leaving that punishment feeling behind, taking a risk towards being more the king of air, wanting to make sure they temper themselves a lot better than how they feel because of how they feel punished and all that bullshit. But um, being nostalgic, dreaming about you, as the fool, as the 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 person who feels like they can't be loved because they're 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 so tarnished, they're so ruined, they're so jaded. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles. So I pull up the pink Queen of Pentacles, and then we know this is a power couple. This is because why I say power couples because the King of Pentacles came out as well <laughs> so yeah thinking we that we're current we're uh 
we're a, a, a power couple and all that great stuff. But I'm trying to see, like, because I asked for some sexual energy now. So, the very next song is Sex So Good by Jacques. Huh. Sex so good, go, let's go half on a baby. So here you have it. So with the king of pentacles, it's where they would stand. They feel like they're more mature now. They're ready to bring that change to you. They're ready to do some old 50 shades after dark, honey. They're ready to come into you and be the rich nigga that you've been wanting them to be or rich man i'm sorry you guys just talk that way um take it how it applies for you um they're ready to be trusting they know you you're the only person that they can trust with themselves all of them they can be exactly who it is that they're supposed to be and not be judged by any about anyone around them they know they could have that that real love from you now whether or not they gonna get it i'm like stay tuned baby i don't <laughs> we know this shit just keeps going on i was like the energizer bunny up in this bitch i just want to pull one more card because i pulled one extra for the card deck so i just want to one time for the one time one time for the one time don't fall don't fall don't fall bloody card so uh, i have the six of water So, feeling an intense feeling toward you, wanting to really passionately, they're a lurker. We ain't got a whole lot of sexual energy because they lurking right now. They, It's like they can't focus on more than one thing at one time, like... Thinking about the union and how and what they're going to do, the strategy, the plan. They are now exhausted thinking about it. They're like, give me one second. I'm like, like give me one second. I'm going to be right back thinking about it. But let me just. I'm, I'm thinking so hard about baby girl right now. or I'm thinking so hard about my man or whoever it is that this, you know, whether you man or woman. Take it, you know, how it resonates. Um, thinking about this this situation as hard as I am. But I don't even know if it's something that's worth still thinking about. Like, in this way of feeling like I have to do something. <clears throat> so they're lurking. To see what, what, what page you on. Like, what's your temperature? Like, trying to check your temperature by kind of measuring what it is that you doing like okay am i even you know nobody wants to feel dumb like even like with with yourselves like y'all don't want to feel dumb so it's like you i can't sit up here and keep thinking about this person like this and not knowing if they feel this way about me that's why a lot of you have turned to tarot period some type of intuitive message that aligns with the, the intuitive message deep down inside you that you know exists so this person may have found um, divination as a outlet for that, or they may just be straight up fucking lurking on your social platform, your social networking platform, and just trying to see what's up with you. Um, if this person knows where you where you be at, where you live at, where you work at, whatever, like they they lurking, they they in full cold blooded lurking mode. And then if you look at oh if you look at her standing out in the water, it's like the the pig. It's like I think that's like a pig, like some type of wild boar or some shit. They're back there lurking in the water. 
but you got old girl able to like I see you like hi <laughs> like come here come here <laughs> you know how you try to uh, coerce a dog to come to you like come here come here <laughs> so it's like I see you and that's all that's all the feminine is looking like 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 bruh I see you I feel you if I don't see you I feel you like I feel that stalking ass energy. I feel that lurking ass, hungry ass energy to where you just trying to peep what the fuck I'm doing. That's how much I applaud all of you. I applaud all of you even when you don't think you on your shit, you on your shit. Just know that. Um y'all continue to stay strong on this journey. Trust yourself. That's one of the biggest things that you will have learned that and then and it, and it takes you a long way once you learn that once you learn how your intuition works once you learn that how to read that feeling those feelings that you have trust yourself trust yourself more when you go to think and you know go over those emotions and those feelings of should i do this or should i contact them and but you know you have this pit this feeling in the pit of your stomach that that says no you shouldn't if everything comes back in your mind of what this person did that's a for sure sign and no you should not because those things will have to be let go of no matter if that's if that's what if that's the road you want to take as far as being in the presence of this person again talking to them again and even still it need to be on some and it, and it does depend on how things end it but I feel like if you guys are here, you're looking for you're looking for questions to be answered. Questions that you couldn't get answered from this person. If it was just so simple to call them and see what it was, how they felt, then you wouldn't necessarily be here. So you don't need to reach out to them. Your energy doesn't need to reach out to this person. Because if it was that simple, you would have done it before if you would have been able to simply just get your answers out of this person and you that's what you would have done so um those are just that's just for those that feel like they want to reach out and i'm going to give them another chance and that's not your thought that's not even what your thought process should be like now i'm not sure what what stage you're at in this journey but that's what your your thought your thoughts shouldn't be in that form of i'm gonna see how he feels and I'm going to give him another chance and I will see how he wants to do this. It should be, I should see how I feel. I want to see if, I'm going to see if I want to give him another chance when he comes back around to me. I'm going to see what I feel like at the end of all of this. Because that's how they looking at it. And that's what you don't know. That's how they, if, if they're in, if they're in the place, in that headspace to, to think about what it is that you, how you're going to answer a question. That's how they're looking at it. But if they're still in a lower vibrational point, place in their life, they're not going to be thinking about that shit. And that's what you don't want to do. You do not want to contact a motherfucker who is still in that lower vibrational headspace to where they say something stupid as fuck, they do something stupid as fuck, and they hear you back on the road at the beginning of your journey to on the road to recovery that you know like catch a flight bitch <laughs> shit i'm not on the, i don't want to do no road trips give me a flight about this bitch okay let me fly high honey <laughs> let's not do these things let's not play these games okay so yes you guys i hope this resonates once again it wasn't um it wasn't exactly what I, I thought, you know. <laughs> I come for the after dog, honey. <laughs> I come for the tea. So, yes, you guys, hop in the comments. Let me know how this resonated. I know the energy is, like, crazy right now. So, this shit ain't going the way I intend for it to go necessarily. And I know that's, uh, you know, that could be sub um a subliminal for someone out there listening. That that message of things may not necessarily go 
the way you intend for it to go, but it's gone. The energy, the current energy, the energy that surrounds you, I feel like kind of puts that blockage that, that, um, do not pass go, do not collect $200. <laughs> but you still rolling that dice, though. You still rolling that motherfucking dice, but you just do not pass go. Like, you just do not get to go nowhere right now. But as soon as it's time to pass go, well, you passing, you going. Like, just, just know that you, <laughs> you going fast. So, yeah, I, I love you guys. Um, Continue to be the guiding lights in in all of your own individual lights and uh, lives and around and those be an example to those around you. Continue to to have build if you don't have your affirmations together, build them, create them. If you don't have your mantras, Google some, YouTube some. Um, look down in the comments. I, I think a lot, of, a few people read off some really cool ones, or you know, they wrote some really cool ones down in the comments. If um, these, but these are some of the older videos. But yes, you guys, I want you to do that. So hop in the inbox. I mean, the comment section. Shit. <laughs> hop in the comments and talk about it. Be about it. And remember y'all to shit. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Bye.